Alright, so we're back guys with some more The Evil Within on a Kumu difficulty. We are up to chapter 9. This chapter caused me a bit of grief the first time I went through it on a Kumu, but it's not too bad now. I'm pretty good at getting through it. Detective Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? So we start off here in the save room. You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream? <sighs> and all we're going to do is just sort of follow the nurse out here. To the reception area and examine that picture. Memories are vague things indeed. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. Pretty disgusting all those cockroaches coming out of the picture. Examine it again. Yep, gets all fucking weird. And there will be a newspaper article to collect right on the counter there. Grab that. As if you'd seen a ghost. I certainly have. So now we've got quite a number of keys. And I'm going to start... Yeah, six keys. That's perfect. So I think we're done for the middle row here. Let's start opening the top row. So we should get quite a bit of stuff perfect. Green gel to start with. And some more. Wow. Again, 10,000 this time. Damn. Flash bolts. How many do I have? Okay, I think I've got the max here. That's fine. We'll come back for those ones next time. More green gel. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my... <laughs> Five out of six lockers I just opened contained green gel. What the hell? Well, I might even just upgrade my sprint capability now. All the way to max. It does cost... Sorry, it does cost quite a bit to get it up to the max, level 5. 30,000 green gel to be exact. But since I just got so much green gel, I might as well just get that increased all the way. You know, I think you can probably just get through the game um, on Akumu at level 4 now, thinking about it. But... Yeah. Might as well just to be safe. Okay, now. I'm going to get the shock bolt up to level 3 because that will increase the duration. The haunted remain shocked. 6 seconds. As opposed to 4. And also got the... So it's at 1.5 meter. A 1.5 meter radius as well. Don't need to get that all the way up just yet. That's fine. And... Matches, no. Got to start getting this increased. The charge time. Decrease the charge time it takes to draw the crossbow. While aiming for faster firing. Yep, we'll get that up. And... Increase the bolt launch distance. Yep. 
can't afford reload time just yet. What else can I do here? Hmm. Yeah, might as well get that up. Because that'll increase the chance of killing an enemy with a headshot straight away. And... Yeah, it's not really necessary to do it for the sniper rifle because, I mean, one shot in the head with the sniper rifle should kill an enemy instantly, you know. So that's not even... I don't even think that's necessary. So I think we're done here in terms of upgrading our stuff. I've got my sprint fully maxed out, which is good. And now we go through here and some more weird shit is about to happen. Yep, transported into some sort of black and white area, forest, foresty looking place, and a sunflower up ahead. No, no, not that way. No. Just walk to the sunflower, and there's Ruvik. Okay, and now immediately go here, grab the map fragment, and turn around because there'll be some goodies to collect. What was that? Was that anything? No, that was just a rock. Thought I was seeing sniper rifle ammunition. I'm seeing things. So this chapter, chapter 9, we're basically going to be going through Ruvik's mansion. His home. Okay, where him and his parents lived. It's actually pretty cool, and you sort of gain... A decent, a bit more of the story here is unraveled, which I like. Even though the story is total fucking, it's just, it's all over the place, but still, I quite like this chapter simply just for gaining a bit of a, a bit better understanding of the story. So the mansion is straight up ahead there. Wait. I've seen that house somewhere. Go through the gate. I've never been here before, but how did they get here? Dr. Jimenez and Leslie go inside. So we've got to go chase them. But before we do, this area, just before you enter the mansion, has quite a lot of goodies. And there's also a key in that tree. Shoot it down and collect it. Nothing in that box. Handgun ammo. Yeah, just spend a bit of time here. Sort of running around, checking for loot, because there is... There's quite a few boxes to break, barrels and stuff. You don't want to miss out on any loot. Yeah, there's two boxes over here with nothing in it. Thanks. Ooh, an explosive bolt there. Almost missed that. Goo and a shotgun round shell. Two barrels over here. Damn, even with full, fully maxed out sprint, I'm still... <laughs> Getting out of breath. Nothing there either. Wow. Oh, there was some more. Oh, nice. A trap part. Okay, 25 trap parts. That's okay. I was expecting to have a little bit more by now, but yeah, that's fine. I'm sure we'll get some more once we go through the mansion. Now, going through the mansion, it's a pain in the ass because the problem is, once we go inside, like going through the mansion, it's not hard, but what makes it hard is the fact that Ruvik will occasionally stalk you. So as you're going through the mansion, the screen sometimes turns hey. like dark. Stop, damn it. 
okay, or blue, like a dark blue colour. And when that happens, now what? Ruvik starts stalking you, and he only stalks you for about I don't know, 20 seconds or so. But the thing is, you've got to avoid him for that 20 seconds. If you don't, if he catches up to you, and he simply touches you, you will die immediately. So that's what makes going through the mansion hard here. I'm sure we'll... you'll see, okay? You'll see. But go in this save room sort of area here, there'll be a personal file to collect. You can have a read of that. There you go. And that should be it. Yeah, let's go straight into the save room now. Because there'll be two collectibles to get. Missing persons poster and a newspaper article. You think you should use your green gel? <laughs> There's the missing persons poster. Look at that. Missing Ruben Victoriano. Beloved son of wealthy Victoriano family has not been seen since a fire at the family estate. Ruben is Ruvik. Okay, if you don't know. And there is a newspaper article. Alright, now do I have... Yes, I have one key. So I might as well... Go and open up another locker. Might get something good. You never know. Shotgun shells. Beautiful. Because I was running quite low on them. Fantastic. How much green gel do I have? Yeah, not even... Not even worth going to the upgrade chair at this stage. So we'll head straight back to the mansion. Let's go. Alright, so there's quite a bit of areas to go through here. First of all, we're going to go into the dining room. And there'll be a document on the table right there. Okay, nothing else. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's usually two haunted. Yep, in there, so I'm gonna shoot a flash bolt and still kill both of them. Because flash bolts are cheap to create, and I have some waiting for me in one of the lockers in the, s in the save room anyway. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, Rubik's here. Alright. See how the screen goes blue, like a dark blue colour? Now, there he is. You just have to, you just have to avoid him. Alright? So basically just run. You just run. Away from him. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just avoid him here. Where is he? Sometimes he can just fucking teleport right in front of you, which is bullshit. And he'll, he'll like touch you and you die. Very annoying when that happens, but thankfully it didn't just then, so... Yeah, that's what makes this hard. Like, it looked easy just then, because I successfully avoided him. But I'm telling you guys, if he spawns when you're in like a tight sort of narrow corridor area... You are pretty much fucked. You can't run past him. He'll just touch you and you'll die. Now there's a key here. Shoot that. Get the key. And I think there's even another flash bolt. Yeah, look at that. Flash bolts galore. Cheap to create. And lots of them, so... Might as well use them. What do we have okay. Here? Now... This part's a bit fucked up if you don't know what to do. I'll just... what I'll do is I'll just examine it and you can have a listen. Have a look at this. Subject number 58, test 92A, electrode placement in M33, pain region, ineffective. Anticipate greater results with stimulation of section F7, the consent region of the neocortex. 
Subject imprint, only partially successful. Individual personality traits linger. Alright, so there's going to be three areas like this, and what we need to do is we need to move this needle, this probe thing, and then we have to insert the needle in the exact correct position of this brain. How do you know what the correct position is? Well, you have to listen to the tape. I'll just play it again and I'll tell you what you need to do. Okay, so listen. M33 pain region ineffective, so we don't put it there. There you go. Section F7, the consent region. So, how do you know what the consent region is? Let me just get out of this because I don't want to keep listening to that damn tape. Oh, I'm going to anyway as soon as I examine this. Fuck. Yeah, so if you use the right stick, you'll be able to look around. This took me quite a while to figure out what to do the first time I went through this chapter. But if you look just to the left, you will see that the F7 consent region is there. And it shows you actually where the needles are already inserted. So... The consent region is sort of yellow there, and just above it, that's where one of the needles is. So, that's where this needle is. So, according to this picture, the consent region is just down a bit further from that needle. Okay? So, all we're going to do is just move it down a bit. And hope that... That is the correct place. Don't want to go down too far, because consent region there is only a small sort of area now if you fuck up this if you put it in the wrong position when you insert the needle the probe you will die immediately on a kumu it's fucking bullshit on casual and survival if you insert it into the incorrect region it'll only take like a slight chip of your health away but on a kumu you die immediately okay so there we go that's the correct region the f7 Region consent, I think it was called. I just sat in motion. Is this what did you call it? your inner sanctum? The research lab is around. I am most impressed. Why are you back? I didn't give you permission. Come now, we're both men of science. Men of science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments, I can show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. In science, one must do any number of things a layperson may find disgusting. I've done many things others would consider distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You concern yourself so much with your appearance. But that mind of yours, that's all that matters. Yep, so that's, that's pretty cool. Marcello. Is that Ruvik with him? Yes, it is Ruvik as a child. So each time you sort of get to one of these areas where there's a brain and you insert the probe, there's three of those sorts of areas, then you'll get a bit of a cutscene like that, where you'll see like Dr. Jimenez talking to Ruvik. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's done. Oh shit, that's right. I've got to go over here and collect the axe. Because on our way back, there'll be a haunted that breaks through the door. This door right here, and fuck you. Goodbye. That looks like there's some red liquid. Yep, so see how there's sort of three. Uh. I don't know, things to fill with the red liquid, blood, I guess. Basically, we've just solved that first, I don't know if you'd call it a puzzle, the brain thing. Like I said, there's three of them. We have to do it three times. Once you do, these three tubes will fill up with blood or red liquid, whatever it is, and we'll be able to go through the door. So we've solved the first brain sort of puzzle thing. And now, two more to go. So we're going to go straight up the stairs into this room here. And let's collect this key item here, a lower safe dial. 
This old safe dial is marked with the number 0 through 9. And it's telling us to look at that picture. Take note, there are two people in that picture. Two. Key word, or key number I should say, being two. There's also a key in this room. And it's right up there. Okay, there's going to be a couple of haunted that break through the door. Shoot a flash bolt. And that'll get them both. Sometimes three will break through. Third one might be out there lingering around somewhere. Okay, there's the key. And now... We're gonna go in here. Okay, there's a haunted right there. I'll kill him. Oh my god. Oh shit, he's got a fucking gun. Jesus, that's a bit fucking risky. Wow, that was very risky. I knew one of them had a gun, but I didn't think it was going to be that one. Okay. Well, lucky I took care of him there. A trap part. Green gel. An axe. And now... We're going to go into Rubik's room, which is right here. There'll be a document. You can have a read of that. Rubik's room note. Handgun ammunition, which I don't need. There'll be some green gel there. Now get ready here, because two haunted will come spawning in. So I'm going to get my flash bolt ready. Okay, I got one. Yeah, the other one's there. Might get the axe. Where's the axe? Where the fuck is the axe? <sighs> Alright, forget it. Shit. Okay. Fuck. And I've got a fucking haunted. Jesus. This isn't cool. Go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm gonna run as far as away as I can. You hear him? He just tell- look, see? Just teleports. What is that shit? That is bullshit. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, got him. I wasted quite a few... I don't know how many bolts I used there. Flash bolts, two or three. That was pretty bad. Is that another fucking haunted coming in? Shit. Whoa! There's two of them! What the hell's going on? Fucking hell, this... Okay, that's never happened to me before where those two haunted have come in. That is a first? That is a first. A fucking first. That's fucked. I'm sorry, that's... That's really annoying. Okay, because this chapter is quite hard. Simply because of the damn Rubik encounters. Yeah, we've already seen that. Let's keep going. Try and do this a bit quicker now. Yeah, if you fuck around too long, I think Rubik tends to... You encounter him quite a bit, so if I just do it quickly, hopefully it won't happen. God, I've got to do all that crap again. That's so annoying, you know. You only get a checkpoint sort of after you do one of those brain puzzles. It's just terrible. You know, the checkpoints in this chapter are atrocious. So what you can do is just manually save your game by going into the save room. A fair bit, which is what I did the first time I went through this chapter. Okay, they're already banging on the door. Can't even give me a second to breathe. Okay, that's the one with the gun. 
Yep, got him. Alright, he's dead. Grab the key. What the hell? This... I'm... Fucking... If he killed me, I was just... I don't know what I would have done. I wouldn't have been happy, I can say that. Okay, that was messy, but I got through it. Let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, so three tend to spawn there. Killed all three, so that's good. Now, there should only be two here when I enter Rubik's room. Grab the note, you've already seen that, so I can just press A. Now, I just need to take note of where I dropped this damn axe. <laughs> Grab that. Two will spawn in. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the flash bolt, so I dropped it there. Just going to quickly kill that one with a stealth kill. Pick up the axe and kill the other one. Come on. Come to me. Ooh, that was close. Alright, so that's it. Let's exit Rubik's room and we'll go this way. Run all the way down the hallway. That's going to trigger this little event to occur. Okay, where we sort of get sucked into these pillars. You've got to shoot that red shit up there. Like that. I have never once died doing that. Not once. So that's pretty easy. Go in the bathroom here, there'll be not only green gel, but a map fragment. Now I'm hoping I don't encounter Ruvik. I'm sort of trying to be a little bit quick here. Go in here, this is Ruvik's parents' room. Key, grab that. And yeah, there's never anything inside there or here. Fuck off. But there should be something in here. Matches? No. Crappy syringe, which I don't need. Okay, so this is where the second brain puzzle is located. Crawl through here. Now I have to do this again. to get the checkpoint. If I fail, I'm going to have to do all that shit again. But I can usually do this, so let's examine it. Subject number 12, test 71B, electrode placement A2, stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion and memory allocation, the fear center of the brain. A2, fear center. Right there, just to the right of that lower needle. Right and up a bit. So this one. Right, up a bit. Bring it back a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna... So, to the right of that lower needle and up a little bit. And sort of just down and to the right of that top needle. <sighs> Fucking hell, I just... You just want to hope that this is the correct location. Yes! Good, got it. Now I get a checkpoint. Whew. Thank God. So it should be okay from this point on. I'm actually gonna... Oh, here we go. Oh, Father. If you only knew how satisfying that look on your face is. Did you actually think? If you locked me away, I would just cease to exist. Out of sight, out of mind. You did. You did. Didn't you? Oh, you were never out of my mind. I hope you're proud of yourselves. <sighs> Okay, so Rubik has killed his parents. God damn. 
Now we're going to go this way. There will be one haunted up ahead. You can kill him with a sneak kill. Oh shit. Unless he hears you. Which he did. Oh my god, okay. Now, yeah, I'm in a tight co seat. Look, look at that. I was in a tight corridor. You can't fucking run past that son of a bitch because he just touches you. And did I just explode? I don't know what happened. I died, but I'm not sure if I just exploded. Bloody hell. That is why this chapter is difficult. If he wasn't here stalking you, this would be a relatively easy chapter, in my opinion. Okay, hopefully we don't encounter him again. But it's good we got that checkpoint. Thank God. Oh, Father. Let's try that again, and I'll try and sneak kill that haunted. Just gotta be a bit quiet. Start sneaking. Oh, fuck. Okay. Bloody hell. Yeah, whatever. Just I don't care. Just gonna use a flash bolt. Because I'm sure I'll be getting some more anyway. There's one in the save room. One or two. In one of the lockers, so... Now, we go in here. Green gel. There's an audio tape as well. I'll get that after... One of these haunted or... Two, one or two. One breaks in. Alright. And he dropped an axe, so I'll grab that. So, here's the audio tape. Let's have a listen. Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent, trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal, but which will open the way? Why did I drop my axe? What's going Maximum on? Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subject screen. Careful of that bomb trap on the wall there. Not going to bother defusing it. All right, so if we go down now. You can see that fills up with some blood and now we've just got one more so I'm gonna go back up here to the library because there will be a freeze bolt here some goo and shotgun shells grab all that and now climb the ladder we need to go up here there's a key item to collect and there'll be an enemy right there what the What the fuck? That's ridiculous! How... How... Did you see how quick he got up? Once again, that has never happened to me whilst playing this chapter. All this fucking shit seems to be happening for the live... Why does this shit always happen for live playthroughs? It's really annoying, guys, because, you know, I do a number of test runs before doing the final recording here, and I rarely die, you know? It's just, all this fucking bullshit occurs for the live, oh, it's just, okay, yep, yeah, that son of a bitch heard me, flash him, we'll kill him, go through all this again. I'm going to manually save the game up ahead, but I want to get through the library first. That's what I was trying to just do there. Okay, so green gel. I'll just open... Yeah, I'll just... We've already heard that, so... Maximum frequency Whatever. Of cortical regions has proven less than effective. And the Some haunted will break through the door. Screen. Stealth kill. Tailored settings achieve better results. Any other items? Green gel. 
Axe. Okay. I'm just going to go straight over to the library now. Try that again. Freeze bolt. Green gel. Shotgun shells. Climb the ladder. Kill the haunted up here in one hit with an axe. Okay. Get up. I... Okay. Well, maybe the axe... That's twice that's happened now. Perhaps using the axe is not a viable method to do that. So what I'm going to do now is because the game's been a little bitch, stand back and shoot him in the head with a fucking rifle shot. And that should kill that motherfucker. Didn't want to have to use a rifle round, but... Looks like I'm going to have to, and I keep alerting that guy, because I'm just, I don't care now. I just want to get through this section. This is really starting to annoy me. What's really annoying is if Ruvik decides to appear and kill me somehow. You know, I get trapped and he kills me. That'll just be the icing on the cake. That'll be almost worthy of just shutting the game off and just, you know, I'm done. What's going on? I can't get through this part. Why can't I do this? This is the third time I've died. Is it? Three times, I think, now. That is unacceptable. Wow. I've got a... I feel like I have to sort of readjust my whole way of getting through this chapter now. It's atrocious. Okay, maybe if I start sneaking from here all the way here, he won't hear me. Let's see. He'll turn around any second now. Okay, and will he walk past me? No, he stops there. Okay, good. Well, this will save at least one flash bolt. There we go. Okay, so that's done. And now, for this guy that breaks through the door up ahead, maybe I've got to wait a bit till he gets away from that damn bomb trap, or just shoot the bomb trap. I don't know why I don't just shoot them. I'm just going to shoot it. That way I don't have to worry about it. The subject scream. Okay, there we go. Now let's do this again. There we go. Now, grab the axe that he drops. To the library. Let's try this once again. This is starting to really, really annoy me. Freeze bolt. Green gel. Shotgun shells. Why do I have the axe equipped? I'm not using it now. I'm going to get the rifle out and shoot him in the head. There you go. I'd like to see you get up. Oh, look, there's another one. Perfect. Sometimes there's two. Yeah. Thank God that's done. So we need to go up here because there is the upper... Bleh, because there is the upper safe dial. Number 0 through 24. And if you look at this and you count the amount of, I don't know, like hanged people waiting to be hanged or executioners, whatever they are, there's 11 of them, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we need to remember that because it's how we solve a puzzle or, sorry, more, more specifically open up a safe coming up. And if you remember when we picked up the lower 
safe dial, there were two people in that picture. So 11 and 2. Remember those two numbers. 11 Just and 2. To go. Now, I'm going to go back to the save room because I'm not redoing all that again. I will be saving the game here. I'm saving the game. Do I have a key or anything? Might as well use the keys while I'm here. Handgun ammo, and there was flash bolts. How many up there? Two. Perfect. Come on, grab them. Got it. And let's start opening some more lockers. Ooh, shock bolts. Got them all. Green gel. Lovely. Ooh, 10,000. Okay, so now we're going to start opening the lockers on this wall, this side over here. And I'm going to start with the bottom left, rifle ammunition. Perfect. Okay, so now I'll do a bit of upgrading. Then I will save the game and continue on. So what I might just do here is increase the amount of rounds I can hold in the clip for the rifle and the shotgun. And fire rate, I guess we'll get that up. Reload time for the rifle, yep, that'll do. Alright, now save the game. I've got quite a number of saved games here. <laughs> it's insane. I do a lot of practice before doing the final recording, so that's why. Alright, so we're almost done now. We just need to solve one more sort of brain puzzle. Get the blood or red liquid to go in there, and we're done. So to do that, we just go this way. Rubik can still spawn, just be very careful. We're not sort of home free yet. As long as we're still in this mansion, he can still spawn and stalk us. So, kick this door open and start sneaking. You'll be able to easily get this haunted here. With a stealth kill, always. And there'll be some barrels and whatnot to break and goodies to collect. Some green gel. Rifle ammo there. Green gel. There's actually a bomb trap here. If you're feeling game, you can try and defuse it, but no thanks. Not for this area. There'll be a grenade there. Okay, so there'll be a document. Make sure you grab this. Yep. This actually tells you how to solve this, to open this safe, okay? Two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Above, faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. So there, I guess, the executioners, remember? There were 11 of them for the upper dial, so they were above. And below, the helpless victims losing everything. The people about to be executed. There were two, if you remember, in that picture when we collected the lower safe dial. So to solve this, put in the dials. And the top one is 11, referring to the 11 faceless spectators. And the lower one is the two victims. There you go. And you will get it open. And this is where the third and final brain puzzle thing is. This one's a little bit tricky. It's actually, I'm not going to listen, it's basically the hope region, okay? So it's just to the left of the 
needle there at the bottom bottom left needle okay so or just down from the top needle I guess okay so that's down a bit from the top needle and remember it's just to the left of that needle there the bottom one so I think that should be good but fucking hell it's just a risk here we go let's try it oh god got it so now we get a checkpoint and it's pretty simple from this point on and it's actually enjoyable like I mean this is a pretty cool chapter from this point on oh here we go has not received the family's usual donation this year and why would they has the hospital been doing anything worthy of donation the Victoriano family has always been a generous contributor where are your parents they have gone away when do you expect them is there something you wish to discuss doctor I came to inform you that the hospital will no longer be able to provide you with assistance materials your research will very quickly disintegrate how dare you come into my home and threaten me yep pretty cool so yeah from this point on I I really like this chapter I mean up until this point I find this chapter to be a bit of a pain in the ass Oh shit, that's right. Fuck, there's a guy with a bloody gun there too. Fuck. Oh my goodness. Ruvik, you can't possibly have... Sp what a... That, okay, that was just pure unluck unluckiness. That was... Oh man. That was probably the most worst time for Ruvik to spawn and start stalking me. I thought he was going to spawn from behind me, but that door should looks be like he spawned now. in front of me. And as you saw, he touched me, and I died, so hopefully that won't happen again. Just got to be prepared here, and kick that, flash bolt, kill that guy with the gun, and this fat haunted here. There we go. Grab any loot they drop. Yep, some green gel. Okay, and here we go. All three brain puzzles are solved. And the door will open and we can go through. So all we do here is just run straight ahead. Yep, so the door shuts behind us. Just keep running forward. You can't sprint here. Slice clean all the way. No cure for what I'm going to do to you. Peel pristine skin. Thoughts from Ruvik? <laughs> yeah, so I, I really like this part. We have to fight. I guess this is sort of like a boss fight for chapter nine, sub boss fight, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. <laughs> There's a flash bolt there. Oh, wow. Oh, yep. I can pick it up. Yeah, so... I don't know. I think Ruvik sort of morphs <laughs> into this... Blood sort of monster type thing. You'll see. As we go up ahead here. And we can't kill it. We basically just have to run from it. It's pretty much like a, a runaway type boss fight. But I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So go through the door and we will become introduced to it. This Ruvik slash blood monster thing, whatever the hell it is. So there's Ruvik. Yep, and watch, he morphs into... Look at that thing. 
this tall walking blood creature. Run. If you touch it, if it touches you, you will die. So just run, okay? Now, for this part, be careful. Yep. If you walk through one of the wires here, you will be killed immediately. The spikes will fall on you and you will die. There is quite a bit of stuff to collect here, so just make sure you... Okay, I want to grab that. I'm going to... Oh, I can't. I can't pick it up. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, maybe... See, the roof is sort of slowly... The spikes are dropping down to the right of me. So you sort of have to be quick here. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to do this, but... I was trying to sort of like, um... Get my agony crossbow equipped and reload so I could pick up that explosive bolt. Didn't work. That's fine. Let's go through here. We're done. Disarmed all those bear traps. Got the trap parts. Now this is what I like. I love this part. It's fucking awesome. Just run straight ahead. Creepy mannequins and doll heads everywhere. Run, run, run. Go left. So yep, there's that blood monster thing stalking us. Ruvik, whatever it is, I don't know. Disarm the... Jesus. Disarm the bear trap. Almost got killed there. Shoot the lock. Let's go. No time for fucking around. Grab that. Oh my god. Be careful of the bomb trap. That's going to shut. Hit the lock off. There'll be three bear traps to disarm. I'm going to try and disarm all of them because I want the trap parts. This could be a bit risky doing this. Shit, he's there. Okay, I'm going to have to run back now. Run back. Okay. Oh my god, he spawned right in the way where I need to go. Okay, oh no, I can go this way. Can I? No, that's going to shut on me. I can't. Fuck. Yeah, you got to be careful. Oh my god. I could have ran past him then because he was spawning. Oh man, this is terrible. I don't want to die. Where is he? Okay, I've disarmed all the bear traps. So now, I think there's green gel there, but I don't care. I'm just getting out of here. I'm going, I'm panicking. Ah! Hit the lock off, go. Okay, so we're done. All we do now is once you get to this point, just run. Run, 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 or the doll heads will crush you. And you end up in this room. Now, when I'm running from the doll heads there, when they're about to crush you, I just keep mashing the A button. Okay, because in the past, when I've just ran without mashing the A button, they seem to crush me. I don't know why. It's very annoying, so I just thought I'd mention that in case, you know, you guys have trouble of the same nature there. Anyway, map fragment. Let's collect that and go this way. Through the door. I led here. I like this part. This is awesome. Basically, we'll learn a little bit more about Ruvik. And we'll see his sister. Ruvik has a sister, if you don't know this by now, called, can you guess, Laura. Yep, the name of that horrific spider half spider, half chick enemy that's been chasing us in some of the previous chapters. Laura. That is Laura. Okay, Ruvik's sister. And you'll see Laura once we enter the barn here. But first, just run around. There should be... Is that a shock bolt? Yeah, I think I'm full. Can't carry any more shock bolts. That's a bit of a shame. Green gel somewhere. 
Yep, there it is. Okay. Let's go in the barn. Wait, just one last check. Let's go. There you go, Laura. So there's Rubik and Laura. I know you're in here. I can hear you breathing. <laughs> Rich bastards think they can buy up all our land. They need to be shown who really owns these parts. Hey, I think there's kids in there. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> what the? Damn, so... Somebody open the door! Ruben! Ruben! You have to climb! <laughs> Out of here. Yeah, so there. As you can see, Laura sort of sacrifices herself to save Rubik, Ruben. So Rubik survives and he's scarred from the burns. And Laura dies from the fire. And that's why when you face Laura, the half spider, half woman enemy, she has a fear of fire. Okay, so that's why. Because Laura herself died in the fire. So yeah, we're just going to get on this lift thing here. Just do what I do. And before we exit, there will be some green gel. But also over here, make sure you burn this pile of hay. Because there will actually be a key behind it. All right. And after we collect the key, we're going to go through there. Or we're going to try to, but that damn blood monster Rubik thing... Is gonna we're gonna encounter it again and what it's gonna do is push us down into the barn there and it will spawn exactly six haunted once we kill the six haunted the fight will be over and the chapter will pretty much be over okay so let's do it and I'm gonna use the rifle to take care of those six haunted that it spawns by the way, this is fucking epic music whenever you see this blood monster thing. I love it. So, gonna grab the shotgun. Okay, so this is a bit annoying here. Yeah, sometimes it spawns there. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of adapting. So, it's going to spawn one there. Shoot it. That's one wanted taken care of. Two taken care of. Three taken care of. Four taken care of. Oh shit. Five. One more to go, and that's it. Okay. Just be careful. Oh shit. It's gonna. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It can still kill you if you run into it. back in this hallway. All we do is run straight ahead and we're going to hear Rubik's parents. Yep. You must eat. You've got to keep your strength up. My children. Want... Beatrice, we have been through this. <laughs> Sometimes I hear his voice. The basement. 
He sounds so close. There is nothing down there. How can I be any more clear? Then why is it locked shut? Why can't I go down there? Okay. And once you walk in the room, they disappear. I just sort of stood outside there so you could have a listen to what they say. Because, yeah, if you just run in here, you don't get to hear that conversation. So that's it. There is nothing else to do. There is nothing in this area, I believe. And all we're going to do is go straight through here. And that will end Chapter 9, guys. So that is it for Chapter 9. Pretty tough initially going through the mansion because of those damn brain puzzles. You have to be perfect in where you place the probe there. And it's also annoying when Ruvik stalks you. But yeah, it's, it's an enjoyable chapter once you get through that mansion and you fight that blood monster sort of boss. It's pretty cool. But that's it guys. I'll see you in the next video for Chapter 10. I'm out.